Season's over, just hold on, you're going home. Can't deal with life's hurdles like your Lolo Jones. Series over, feel the sorrow, drank it down. Bartender, I think I'll have a triple crown and I'm the only one. I think I'll be the only one. You ready? Several teams firing head coaches and front office staff today, including Washington Commanders. Team parted ways with Ron Rivera after a disappointing 4-13 season. Other members of the front office there and coaching staff expected to depart, as new ownership says. It plans to begin sweeping changes within that organization. The Falcons, the first team to fire their head coach today. The team announced the departure of Arthur Smith just after midnight. He went 7-10 in all three of the seasons as Atlanta's coach. Carousel now has an opening in Carolina, and Scott Fitterer, the general manager was fired there so if they want to hire a coach like say Belichick or Harbaugh and I imagine Vrabel might enter the pantheon of I want to choose my own grocery shopper certainly since a new general manager is brought in and then two years after he wins coach of the year he sent packet between head coach Mike Vrabel and ownership and if you listen to the comments and read the comments of team owner Amy Adams Strunk it sounds very clear that, that she believed that Mike Vrabel and the general manager Rand Carthon who was hired a year ago were not in alignment on the, the vision for the franchise and so she made the decision to move on from Vrabel which is an interesting decision given the success he's had as a head coach there but that's that's the direction that the Tennessee Titans have decided to go it looks like they're headed into a you two what it do it's your boy Nazareth man we here we here we got a new playthrough starting on the channel Sig Shula from the UDL to the NFL <laughs> from the UDL to the NFL but we picked Tennessee because Tennessee they had the seventh overall pick and low-key they got no future like they are good they're a good enough team to be bad. Yo. <laughs> that's, that's the easiest way I could put it. Like, Washington was an option, but it's a clear fix to Washington. Third pick, you take Caleb Williams if he's there. If he's not, you take Drake May, you figure it out. But Six Shula, he's here. He's here in that baby blue. We might even relocate. Let me know if y'all want to see the Tennessee Titans re get relocated. We could pull that off, too. You know, I got the funds. I don't got the funds. Fafa, he the, he the, he the Puerto Rican Jew. He got the funds. But we here, Six Shula, episode one. Hit the like button. Uh, with the time y'all see this, episode two should be edited. So as soon as we see ten likes on episode one, episode two gonna hit the sh it's gonna hit the two. So this playthrough is gonna come out as long as y'all support it. I'm gonna try to stay ahead. But we reviewing the roster right here. We got Will Levis. Y'all see me? I try to face cam this and talk through it. We got Ryan Tannehill, he's out of here. Malik Willis, he might stay because he's black, and we need more black QBs in the league. Plus, he got 90 speed. But Will Levis, uh, I ain't draft him. That wasn't me. He's he's, he's not he's not going to be here. I'm letting y'all know now. So if you want to see Will Levis play for the Tennessee Titans, that's going to be real life next season. <laughs> that's going to be a real life next year. This is my world. Derrick Henry. Another player, he's done. He's, he put his IG post on. I, he put he put the farewell on IG. He's out of here. We got no fullback. That's fine. I'm gonna find a fullback. DeAndre Hopkins, he's getting traded for a draft pick. He's not coming back. Yo, he's not coming back. He's not coming back. It's over. 99 overall does not matter. We lost with you. We got the seventh overall pick with you. We could we could get we could do we could get the ninth overall pick without you. Tight end room, we got Wesco, Josh Wow, and I am going I am going to try to pronounce my boy name right there. Offensive line is pitiful. Andre Dillard starting left tackle. Oh man. Peter Kronz Ronsky. Peter Kronz Roski. He's our left guard. Just finished his rookie season. Aaron Brewer is a starting center. Might not be here next year. Daniel Brunskill. Right guard. Uh, that was the right guard. And our right tackle was Jalen Duncan. I don't know. He's a rookie. I ain't really watched no Tennessee games, so I can't judge him. But with that overall, he might not be starting next year. Danico Autry with the left end might not be back. We're going to really rebuild the team. Jaleel Johnson might not be back. It's, it makes no sense to resign all these players, and y'all was just y'all just got the seventh overall pick. I don't know what y'all record. I think y'all won like five games. Marlon Davidson, young player, might stay. But if you're older than 26, 27, the, the likelihood of you coming back is low, unless we really need that position. 
And I want to build a team the way I want to build it. So a lot of these veterans, a lot of people that have been here, a lot of these um, these um, Mike Weber players, it's over. <laughs> Yo, it's over. Harold Landry, he's staying, though. He's with us. The cornerback room is low-key all right. Sean Murphy Burfin, uh, Button used to play for the Bucks. Trey Avery might not be here. Roger McCary, second-year player after this after this week. Elijah Molden, we could upgrade that. I need speed in the secondary. I need speed at the skills positions and speed in the secondary. We need to be tall up front and powerful up front on both sides of the line. If we got speed at the skill positions, I could scheme them open. It's me, Sig Shula. I averaged 44 points in the UDL and only gave up eight. That's both sides of the ball. But in our sim, the 49ers got the Super Bowl. This is what should have happened in real life. Six-time Super Bowl champion, San Francisco 49ers, Super Bowl MVP, Brock, Tom Brady, Purdy. But NFL is rigged. That's why we lost. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, looking at the prospects, I finally got a good draft cat class. They got Caleb Williams dropping all the way to six. They got us taking a tackle. It's not happening. <laughs> Nigga, it's not happening. We going Drake May. We might get Caleb if nobody else take him. Or we going uh, McDaniels. Not McDaniels. We going Jaden Daniels. I keep calling him McDaniels. Jaden McDaniels played basketball. Jaden Mc Jaden Daniels is a Heisman Trophy winner. <laughs> Why they got the Bears going back to back receiver though? That's retarded. Brock Bowers going number two is crazy. Titan going number two. Who went? Who went that high? Like top three? I think Vernon Davis. So we get to free agency right here. As y'all see, my boy Derrick Henry, he's not coming back. Look at look at my face. I'm trying to tell y'all it's over. Withdraw. My son won ten million a year to lose. Come on. Hall of Fame running back, but his career in Tennessee is over. Sean Murphy Burton, he's Sean Murphy Burton. Sean Murphy Bunn is 27. We thinking about keeping him. Caleb Farley, star development, 25 years old, 50 option. We taking that option. Accept that option. Come on, I know what to do. I know what I'm doing. He has no resign interest, but we gonna change his mind. Gibson not coming back. Christian Fulton, we gonna resign him. I feel like he's fast. Oh, he don't want to. Oh, he don't want to take the deal. All right, free agency better for you. Hopefully, good luck. <laughs> Yo, good luck. Kevon Wallace. We need that. He stays. He stays. But we need we need players in the secondary. We need players. Linebacker. I will go look at Jack Gibbons. I ain't watching no Tennessee. I don't know who this is. Twenty five, two years in. I go look at his ratings. Seventy eight speed. You're done. <laughs> Yo, what what are we gonna do with you? You're out of here. You're cut. You're cut. You're cut. Aziz, Aziz Al Shahir. You look at his shit. 85 speed. We could work with that. We're looking to replace that though. 85 speed is not bad. So we're gonna. What does he want? 16 for how many years? Three years? About five million. Five and a half million. That's not bad. I'm thinking about it. Give him a two year. Up the money though. Mm-hmm. He takes that. Give him two years for like seven. That's 14. We got mad cap space. Really don't matter. The cat, That's why we go back to uh, Sean Murphy Bunny. Star development. Don't want to lose that. Even though we lose losing the X Factor. But he stays. We lock him up till he's 30. When he's done, he's out of here. So DeAndre Hopkins, we're looking for a trade partner. We stumble upon the Lions. We about to give him a better Amara St. Brown, even though he's X Factor. Yo, they they receiving call about to be crazy. We need that second round pick though for Hopkins at least. I was trying to trade him to the Chiefs, but they was over the cap, and I wasn't trying to wait to the draft. We need that second round pick because a lot of those defensive people in the defensive line they not coming back to the team. We hit free agency. We see who's in free agency: it's Kirk Cousins, Baker Mayfield, Gardner Minshew, Sam Darnold. Jameis Winston, no bridge QBs. We don't need none of those people. We go to the wide receivers, and I see who I see. I see T. Higgins, Hollywood Brown, Amari Cooper, Tyler Boyd, Odell Beckham, Curtis Samuel, Josh Reynolds, Noah Brown, Nelson Aguilar. I'm like, all right, we go right to T. Higgins. And we got to get him out of the Bengals. He playing number two behind Jamar Chase for what? You could stay in the AFC. You could play the Bengals every four years. 
and we're gonna give you a lot of money. We gupping the money. We trying to be as real, realistic as possible. He's not gonna leave since he's not gonna leave Cincinnati for sixteen million. He's not gonna do that. So we we was gonna go. We look at the numbers right here. I'm on my calculator trying to do the math. That's a one ten. We make the offer. That's twenty two million a season. He not turning that down. We go to tight end. Irv Smith Jr. from Alabama got that winning pedigree. We need that on our team. Jeff Okuda, Ohio State. I think they played in the national championship when he was there. Winning pedigree. We need that. Didn't work out in the NFL. Come on. Chase on another player. LSU. I think they played on that national championship team. Patrick Queen. You see what I'm doing here? I'm going to the people who won in the... Come on. They all won in the prior thing. It didn't work out in the league for other reasons, but I don't care about that. You get what to say. Good things about to happen. Sig Shula, I'm telling you. So this is the second the second week of free agency. We get here. Come on. Where we going? We go to the free agents. Hey, Ron Smith, we should have signed him. Looking back on it, Josh Allen goes to the Lions. Lions got bread. LeJarrius Sneed goes to the Cardinals. Derrick Henry to the Texans in the division. Amari Cooper in the, to the Texans in the division. I'm like, damn. Both of them? T. Higgins, Patrick Queen, they signed with the SIG. Come on. I threw them UDL rings on the table. They <laughs> told them niggas make their mind up. I ain't got all week. That's two of my top choices. We got both of them. We got a big. We got free agency signings on both sides of the ball. Big ones. Patrick Queen and also T. Higgins. Come on. We got our we got our star wide receiver and our linebacker. Linebacking core is Aziz, Al Shahid, and Patrick Queen. I also see Kenneth Murray here. Come on, y'all see the speed, 87 speed. And he's young too. It didn't work out. It didn't work out on the Chargers. But it's gonna work out with us, I promise you. Third linebacker, so we don't gotta even draft linebacker now. We don't gotta worry about that. Middle linebacker is set. We go to running back. Looking at our roster. Tight end, Irv Smith is there. T. Higgins is here. Look at look at that receiving court now. It's a little better. It's not the best, but it's a little better. Sha Smith. He co and these 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 people at the bottom, they're not gonna be there. We're gonna draft a receiver, hopefully. Third round, maybe, fourth round, middle of the rounds, late pick. Shagozim Okanoko. <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey Simmons, why are you not playing? I'm gonna go through the defense and really change it. This they got a 3-4. I've never really built a 3-4, so I'm gonna try it out. But if this doesn't work. I don't want to switch the scheme like go over one all season. I think that's really that's tar that's tough to do if you don't got a lot of draft picks and a lot of free agents. And I don't feel like signing players. I feel like we could build through the draft. It's gonna be like a two three year thing. All done right before Madden 25 come out. So I gotta get on the editing shit. I gotta stop playing around. Also gotta start editing the Dominator series that's coming out. Yeah, I got Arden Key. I don't Arden Key. He's gonna be on the team next year, but he probably won't start. We looking to replace that. The 78 speed. Come on, how you gonna catch some of these QBs with that? You not like you not gonna do it. Patrick Queen. Come on, look at that cornerback room. All young players. Caleb Farley. Come on. And Jeff Okuda ain't signed yet, but we're gonna see. We're gonna try to. We're really trying to add Jeff Okuda. Third team in three years. It's gonna be tough, but hopefully we can convince him. You know, you get with the Sig. I'll coach you up the right way. Get you playing. Get you in positions where you can win. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what's taking so long. The last thing we're gonna do in this episode, we gotta get my boy up out of here. Will Levis, he's done. He's not playing for me. I'm not. He's not gonna be a reason why they pack me after one season. I'm black and I'm young. That's already a double negative. So Will Levis. You are going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to follow in Baker Mayfield's footsteps who fought, who signed with the Raiders and Tom Brady footsteps who got them a championship. So I'm going to see y'all on episode two. Hopefully y'all excited. Ten, ten, no, we'll go eight likes, eight likes on this episode one. Eight likes. We'll keep it humble. We'll keep it humble. Eight likes on episode one. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the uh, first episode of this. I'm excited. Hopefully y'all excited. See y'all on episode two. Peace.